friends, welcome back to Simply Our Home. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Amy and welcome. I am here in our dining room and super excited to start decorating for summer. Now, if you remember, we've already decorated my kitchen and coffee bar, our family room and mantle, our entryway, and even a patio makeover for summer. So if you happen to miss those, or if you're needing some more summer decor inspiration, I can go ahead and link that down below in a summer playlist. So for our dining room, I want to carry the same theme that I have used throughout our home, which is using some faux variety of fruits and adding that pop of summery color to my neutral decor. And I have to say, I am absolutely loving that. Today, I wanna to give you some inspiration for decorating your hutch. Also a small tablescape. Now we're not going to be adding some silverware glasses and napkins. It's gonna be super simple and casual, but still really nice and summery. I have some hooks that I'd like to add some summery decor. And then I'll even be adding some artwork to the walls that I just picked up from Hobby Lobby. So you'll definitely have to stick around to see where that ends up. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and start decorating our dining room for summer. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so the first tip I have for you when you're redecorating a space is to clear out all of your decor, even those pieces that you are loving. Go ahead and set them aside because I think you're going to realize you are a lot more creative when you have a bare canvas. I know I am. And so the second tip I have for you is to shop your own home. You don't always have to buy new decor to create something that is beautiful for the seasons and holidays. And that's exactly what I'll be doing. I like to reshuffle our decor from room to room and it just keeps everything looking nice and fresh. I think what we'll do first is to start over here at the hutch. Now, when I'm decorating my hutch, because it is white, I like to add decor pieces that are brown so that they pop off of the white and really show up. So the first piece that I want to try to incorporate is kind of like a dough bowl, and I'm hoping that it'll fit here. So we'll just go ahead, get it, and see if it'll fit. Luckily, fingers crossed, it will. So here is the dough bowl, and I love that it is a different color wood, and so it's gonna really pop. So I think that it is fine, that it is it cannot sit flat, but it is elevated a little bit. I think that's going to look beautiful, and I have an idea of what I'm going to add to it. Now, before I get started decorating, I first need to clean down the shelves. They're a little bit dusty, and so I'm going to be using the seventh generation wood cleaner. Now, I've never used that, but it was in my box uh, that arrived yesterday from Grove Collaborative. So I'm just gonna get everything nice and clean before I add the decor. Now we can go ahead and start decorating the farmhouse hutch. And I have to say, this is one of my favorite pieces. I picked this up off a of Facebook marketplace for only a hundred dollars. It was in great shape, but I went ahead and chalk painted it to make it more my style. And I love how it turned out. If you happen to miss that video, I can link it up above for you. So you can see how the transformation occurred. So as you see, I just added back in that bowl on an angle. I think that looks beautiful. Added some of that baby's breath greenery that is from Hobby Lobby and then to add more wooden elements I added three different types of rolling pins. Sticking to the center but moving up to the top shelf I'm going to go ahead and place a couple of my false graph dinnerware pieces. A dinner plate and a salad plate and I think this just complements my coffee bar and then I'm also going to be adding in some staple pieces which is some white dishware. I'm going to scatter them 
here and there, crisscrossing them in the cabinet, and then I'll be adding lots of different greenery. I think this is going to make it look very lush and full, and I just love the look that greenery gives to a space. It just livens it up. Next, I'm going to go in with a few more decorative pieces that add tons of different textures. I'll add a old sifter with that chrome look, a sphere from Hobby Lobby that gives that nice natural appearance. Then I'll add the largest cloche that came in a set of three from Amazon, which I can go ahead and link down in the description box for you. Then to top it all off, I'll be adding various faux fruits to give that pop of color that screams summertime. Now we can go ahead and move down to the wooden surface and this gives us another opportunity to use decor pieces that are a little bit lighter. So I'm going to be using the false graph platter and then to repeat the chrome or galvanized metal look I'm adding this cake stand that came from Southern Living at Home. Now I was a consultant with them in the past and so I have a lot of their pieces and I love reusing them. And here I'm also going to be adding lots of faux fruit and I love to add an element of surprise by tipping things over so you'll see I tip that olive bucket that is from Hobby Lobby and I'm letting the blueberries just spill out from it and I think it just gives it that relaxed feeling and then I'll just be adding lots more faux fruits and all of the fruits are from Michaels except for some of the lemons I got from Amazon Now we can move on to the top, but we definitely don't want to leave it bare. It can make it look super flat and empty. So I think I'll just add a few pictures and a couple of decor pieces up here and see how this turns out. Okay friends, here is how the farmhouse hutch turned out for summer. I'm absolutely loving all the pops of greenery and the faux fruit. I think it just gives it a super summery vibe. I've added all different types of variety of fruits. As you can see, the lemons, blueberries, limes, grapes, and even strawberries. But I did keep it pretty neutral with my staple pieces. Lots of different dishware here with the bowls and the plates. And I wanted it to complement my coffee bar. So I thought that that pulled in some of the coffee bar feel. And I love the rolling pins. And like I mentioned before, when you are decorating, be sure to keep in mind to do the opposite of the color of the piece you're decorating. So here, of course, it's white. So all the pops of natural colors of wood really pop out against that. And then down here on the wood surface, that white platter again pops off and really draws your eye. So I love that. So you'll have to let me know down in the comments what you think of it. I love how it turned out. And I love using lots of different greenery to just make it feel casual and summery. So let's go ahead and move over to our table and create a simple casual setup that is still fun and vibrant.
She was a believer. Sometimes I can feel her arms holding me as forever. Time changes everything, and everything will change in time. Love changes every heart, and any heart can change you. If you're enjoying today's video why don't you go ahead and smash that thumbs up button for me that really helps me out and if you are new make sure to say hi down in the comments I'd love to connect with you and give you a proper welcome also if you're enjoying these decorating videos why don't you go ahead and leave me a lemon emoji that helps me to know to continue to make decorating videos for you as always I love to share a daily Bible verse with you and today's comes from Romans 8 26 in the same way the Spirit helps us in our weakness we do not know what we ought to pray for but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans so speaking of prayer if you have any prayer requests please leave those down in the comments so that we as a community can lift you up Alright, so here is how the summer tablescape turned out. I love the burlap table runner and the detail on the ends of it. And then to make it feel a little bit more cottagey and collected, I went ahead and mixed up the dinner plate. So I used some of my false graph and then also incorporated just the white plates that are from Walmart. And I just think that gives it such a cozy feeling. And then the flowers are faux and they came from Amazon, but I love daisies, especially for summer. And then again, I just kept incorporating more faux fruits. And then I actually or, uh, put these oranges in here. Um, they are actually real. <laughs> so I mixed in real with faux to just give it a nice lived in appearance. So I love how it turned out. So the next area I'd like to add some decor is for these hooks that I got off of Decor Steels. I love their site, definitely check them out. They're an online site that has tons of different farmhouse cottagey decor. And these hooks right here kind of have that rusty oil rub bronze they bring in that brown um, aged look and i love the accordion style hooks so i just want to add a little bit of decor here to our board and batten that we've recently uh, installed here i think it just makes a gorgeous feature wall and i love how it looks with our staircase so let's go ahead and decorate these and see how they turn out.
Another tip that I have for you when redecorating a space is to try to keep within a certain color palette. If your whole house is the same color, you can pull from different art pieces and different places and create a new space without spending a dime. So I'm just gonna do a little switcheroo in here and just keep everything fresh and new for summer. So let's go ahead and change out a couple pieces here and add some new and then we'll decorate our buffet. And now to add the crown and jewel to the wall, this new piece from Hobby Lobby, which I think just ties everything together. And I absolutely love it. Okay, hey friends, that does it for today's Decorate With Me here in my dining room. I hope that I gave you some decorating ideas for summer and that you enjoyed watching. Now, remember, if you haven't seen all those other videos, you can definitely go down, click on that link, and get tons more decorating ideas for summer in that summer playlist. I hope that you did enjoy it. And if you did, remember to give me a big thumbs up and also share it with somebody who you think might enjoy it as well. I'd really appreciate that. If you haven't already, I hope that you'll consider subscribing. Here on my channel, you're gonna to see tons more decorating. I love it and it's my passion. And so I hope that you'll join me on my journey of decorating our house through the seasons. Well, I thank you so much for hanging out with me today, and I hope that you have a fantastic rest of the day. I will see you all in my next one. God bless, friends. Bye.